Well, Kenny, before we look forward, let's look back to Oxford. You must have been delighted, given the amount of youth players in that team, that they did so well. Yeah, we've qualified, or we'd qualified. Obviously, then topping the group, which we did, you know, meant we would have a home draw. So that was that were the circumstances that we went into the the game with. And then after that, um, there's no point having a youth policy if if there's no pathway for them. There has to be some. A way that they can play, they can play in, as far as you can see, a, a, a first team environment as well. Because you know most youth games are played at training grounds, uh, they're played in the mornings, and um, to play at Oxford's main ground uh, in front of a crowd in a recognised competition is a big one for, for for all of our youth players. And and I always then do believe, whether you win, lose, or draw, you can learn more from those particular games about that player than than, than you can in maybe let's say a month of training. And um, you know that's that's where it where it was so you know it fell well for us to be able to uh, play a number even for part of the game as I did last year with with Hadji where you know get to either 45 or 60 and take them off and um, and then try to you know help the senior players are on there by putting a couple more senior players in uh, um, for, for you know the majority of it was a you know a very strong Oxford side and have you know said that it's a competition they want to go for this year and, and you could see that in terms of uh, their their team selection, but yeah, uh, for for our younger players, they they did well. For our, you know, uh, 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 players on the fringe, it's a, a very good game for them as well. And I'm pleased to say anyway that um, you know we've we've got through that one early and and uh, got into the, uh, the, the the knockout stages from the group, and, and then you know it gets into the most important part of the week, which you know for for me is Saturday, and um, you know it's a really big game against Gillingham. We have a, a great chance to build on a couple of good. Recent results, hard earned. Uh, everything's hard earned. Though every point that you you earn in this division is hard earned. But you know, working together over the next now couple of months, uh, try to, to to get a run together if we can uh, that can get us up the table. It was perfect preparation for Alex Bass. Yeah, it was. Um, we, you know, we've we've got a lot of time for Alex and in terms of uh, his standard, his his attitude in particular. Uh, he's very very good. His temperament. So for him, we're very confident of him and and. As you say, a game in the week as we go into Saturday is a very good thing. Does it make Gillingham less of a gamble? Or did you never see it as a gamble? Well, we've, we obviously called you know one game off earlier in the season due to the internationals, but I did feel that with a you know when there's a big gap between league games, and um, uh, uh, you know I can see a tension in the players on that you know in that particular game or in the build-up to that game. You know, sometimes with 14 days, 17, 18 days between league games, and yeah, then you know we're going into a warm-up maybe, and I can see a tension in them, and 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 the start of the game where you know they don't look like themselves, don't look like the players that that I know they can be, and the players that come on the training ground. Uh, uh, so I wanted to try to keep the flow going if possible. As I said, you know we did call one off, but somewhere along the line Alex Bass has to go in and and you know the main thing is I've got confidence when he does go in there's a keeper there that's yeah. that's that's the main thing and and you know I've got in terms of you know my judgment a, a lot of confidence in him and um, yeah as I said somewhere along the line he has to go in the circumstances are right for us to to keep playing otherwise we're going to be sort of back to square one where we're going to you know miss too many games and then when they do come round and things build up to, you know, uh, 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 too much and then do affect the players. So I'm very confident of him, uh, looking forward to that particular game as I am with, with all of the players. It's a big game for us and one we, one we want to get right. Ronan Curtis was out there. Will you make that phone call to Mick McCarthy or maybe you already have? Yeah, we've already done that. We, we sort of informed them that, that the scam was clear on, you know, on Monday and uh, it was what we originally thought, which was a tight hamstring which you know, kept him out for a few days last weekend. And um, you know he's back, so you know for them they've got their squad set anyway, and um, have given Ronan uh, permission to be available for this Saturday should we select him. So that's good news. And as you say, he, he was back training, and the injury hasn't kept him out too long. And John Mark was had a bit of a niggle. What about him? Yeah, he did. He missed Tuesday's game. It wasn't a, you know I would have certainly put him sub Tuesday, but he, he had, had a you know, he's got a bashed up sort of big toe. Uh, but again, you know a few days off, uh, Naylor. Uh, Marquis and Curtis are, are all good to go for the weekend. Start to put a little run together. How important is it now to 
continue that? Yeah, we always want to. We want to do well in the league, and you, you don't do that without consistency. And you know, we we want consistency of results, consistency of performances. And it's something we're all looking for as managers, and, and and you know, we certainly are. I'm pleased the game's on. I wouldn't like to have uh, been looking now at a blank weekend, and and then you know, the following Saturday, a uh, hard game always. You know, for for for, for every. Uh, opponent we respect and um, always realise how hard we've got to work where we have to really get the detail right to win the games, we know that. But similarly, we're looking forward to the game, uh, we see it as an opportunity, as we do every game.